Rude Van Nistelrooy. Mm. Um, how big is it having him back and just the aura of him? You saw him after the game, sort of high-fiving players, embracing players. How good is that to see and what sort of impact do you think he's having behind the scenes? Well, I think it's the respect that he commands, not, not just from uh, the, the terraces, where obviously he was an absolute uh, folk hero for United fans, but the players as well. Joshua Zerks, he spoke about playing under Rude um, when he first joined the club and, and what he could learn from him. And everybody knows, you know, what a predator Rude van Nistelrooy was, but he's gone away. He's, he's learned his coaching uh, role in the Netherlands. And I think, to be fair, he looks like a future Manchester United manager. He's yeah. made a good account of himself. Do you think he could be? Do you think, like, do you think he has that in there? I mean, one season at PSV, yes, but do you think he, can, he has that in him? Why not? I think so. I mean, I've, I've spoken to a few United fans that have said, oh, you can see it, can't you? Like, Ten Hag ends up getting sacked and it's Ruud van Nistelrooy mm. that comes in. Sort of like, you know, when like Michael Carrick took over, but like even better and yeah. bigger and more shiny and exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, respect, to, Michael respect to Michael Carrick. Carrick no disrespect, there. but like that, but even bigger. Yeah. Um, I, I think why not? I mean, it, there's a reason why he's taken this position at Manchester United. I don't think it's just to kind of sit there and be like, oh, look at all these strikers I'm helping. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for him. Um, maybe he's even just looking Premier League in general. But mm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a situation where Ten Hag departed from the club. And I'm not hoping for that at all. But if there was a situation, it would not surprise me. At all, it does it's feel very. It's Dutch very Man United. As well, it's, very Man United. Yeah, very unbranded. But also, Angelina made a good point there, quickly, in terms of just other opportunities. What what would happen if I don't know? Sorry, Wolves fans, it went wrong for Gary O'Neill or something, and there was a there was a vacancy by Christmas, or it went wrong for I don't know Leicester or whoever, and they wanted to you know make a change. Do you think that could entice Rude, or do you, how do you see his? strategy or what, what, he's, what, what were his aims? Well, I think the Burnley job was his if he wanted it. Yeah. Um, and the fact he turned that down t to go and be a number two, I think speaks volumes about the admiration he has for, for Manchester United and about the size of the football club. You know, he, he knows that this is the, the biggest club in the world, in our opinion. Real Madrid might argue the case, but if, if you can go there and you, you can be part of a management team that turn around the Titanic, exactly. really, um, then he's only going to improve his credentials and improve his reputation still further. What I liked about him actually as well, not just you know the way that he embraced Xerxes for his winner, the way that he consoled Ganacho after that missed opportunity to mm. make it 2-0. Because let's be honest, all forwards miss opportunities and Rube was no stranger to that. But I think that human touch impressed me as well. Maybe that human touch is, is what's been lacking from the coaching staff yeah, in mean, the past I was, couple of years. I was on the pre-season tour and uh, out in the States and honestly, he was signing more autographs than the players. Yeah, like it was. It was. And they'll see that. It was. Yeah, one hundred percent. And it and it didn't feel. It didn't have that like negative feel. No, like exactly. he's overshadowing everything. He took time to speak to us in the media. There was a like congregation of, of of media there, and he was taking his time to talk to them, catch up in an informal way, sort of standing up on the pitch, having a little laugh and having a little joke. Mm. I was like, rude. <laughs> you're right, you're right rude. Yeah, you're right, sort of thing. But it, no, he was he was fantastic and. Mm. And, and, and there was like an open training session and obviously the players are signing autographs, but Rude is getting just as much as attention, if not more, because yeah. everybody, again, I can believe it. of who he is. So it was really, really good to see. But I think he also has this serious side that's like, I'm not just here, like you said, as just like to just serenade me because of like my history here. Like I'm here to do a job. I want to help improve this squad, turn the Titanic around um, and prove his worth as, as a coach, not just because he's got fine history. Um, with us. So I think it's going to be interesting to see um, how, that, how that pans out.